they made a comparison, which I actually thought being a you know average sports fan, NBA fan, <laughs> average. I said average, man. Don't do oh. that. Don't do that. You know, you heard me. Don't do that. Stop giggling, man. You grown. All right. I like said, sports a little bit. 19 posts about LeBron James. Man. One day. Cut it out. It's LeBron. not 19. It's LeBron not 19. James. I'm going to start post every time you say something about LeBron James. LeBron. I'm going to post that, that that video on it where the little boy keeps saying LeBron, LeBron James. James. <laughs> LeBron James. Anyway, man. Um, it said what J. Cole is the equivalent of Tim Duncan as it relates to hip hop. Now, Jay Moore, you smirking, man, but hear me out. If you think about it, right? Tim Duncan is. If you think. Got to think now. Think. Follow me. Follow. Follow okay. me. Okay. J. Cole, Crocs. He on stage with the Crocs, the beard, the dress. He's not fitted up, no jewelry. You know what I'm saying? He don't have 65 chains on. He ain't sagging. He ain't this. He ain't that. Souls of Mischief. Not Souls of Mischief. So. If you think about it, doesn't have a lot of features. Just now jumped out the window with all the features. He pretty much stays to himself, produces all the records. Everybody's like, ah, oh, J. Cole is boring. He'll, he doesn't have a He's lot not, of features. Though. He's not. Um, these are the things that are said about him. All of this is exactly what was said about Tim Duncan. He don't wear jewelry. He's cookie cutter. Bank shots. The big fundamental. He doesn't, he doesn't scream. He doesn't yell. He just go out there and give you 30, which J. Cole Dad does. Jeans. And then Michael jeans. Jackson, I mean Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, him and Michael Jordan get the jeans at the same store. Bad, wide, let super wide, like yeah, like Except Michael Jack or Michael Jordan's old, so oh, man. you kind we, of expect that from him. Don't do that, man. But anyway, I like the comparison. I think when you think about his career, everything that people said about Tim Duncan, you can relate that to how people perceive J Cole. But they both are all time greats at what they do and consistently drop heat. They're champions. Like, I don't, I'm not mad at this at all. I think it's perfect. What do you guys think? Because I know everybody in this room know Tim Duncan. I'm not mad at the comparison. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Yeah. Oh, man. Chop pool with him last week. Yeah, we, we, uh, we, we went to Walmart last week mm-hmm. and bought Crocs. See, it's always nah. these two, man. It's I, think, always yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is, Mike. You like, people have been peeping the show for the longest, no, they so haven't. they know the truth. No, they haven't. They know the truth. You just got frustrated because I poured beer into a glass i wasn't frustrated All right. you just extra what you think about the tim duncan thing man exactly um see you're gonna drag it all loud I, yeah just <laughs> mike being mike y'all you know mike may the seventh yo. being extra seven go ahead man but uh <laughs> as far as being compared to tim duncan j cole i mean he what Shaq used to call Tim Duncan the, Big Fundamentals. The Big Fundamentals. So, I mean, if we're talking hip-hop-wise, I mean, I guess he covers the fundamentally uh, Raps, sound. Production. Rap, you know what I'm saying? He, yeah. He, he kind of covers that. But Tim Duncan was quiet. Okay. He is a quiet killer. And what I mean by that is, I mean, everybody knows Tim Duncan has a, a handful of rings. Yep. Uh, Five. You were not coming inside the post and not seeing Tim Duncan. And apparently he was a trash talker, but just not. Yeah. On, on the sly. Agreed. Yeah. He probably he probably talked trash like a uh, uh, Milton on Office Space, like real low and quiet. You know what I'm saying? Some people might catch that. But anyway, um, I could just burn the whole place. Down. Uh, J Cole <laughs> is is really not. I mean, we're talking about somebody that's in top three. He's being mentioned in top three of artists right now. Um, Tim Duncan is fundamentally sound. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I can't, I don't kind of equate them based off of how they really? dress. Well, maybe I not mean, how they dress, but I mean, I just use that as an I'm, example because people is floating around and him rocking the show with some cut off sweatpants and yeah. cro- like, I mean, when we, it's not about the gear. Like it's never been about how Tim Duncan walk into the mm-hmm. arena. It's about the 30. That's what I mean, I'm saying. I, 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 can, say that. I can see it from a point of view. Of, Tim Duncan is one of the greats. He's definitely Best one of the greats. Best whatever. Yeah. I, I give him that. Um, J. Cole style is, I don't, I don't call it boring though. I mean, some. some I didn't. People, I, I didn't say I did either. I'm just saying that's the. That's what you hear. But you would call Tim Duncan's style boring because he plays with. He wasn't flashy. He wasn't Kevin Garnett, and he wasn't like that's Blake true. Griffin, and you know, like he was just he was doing it, playing the game. Yeah, I mean, it. he was like playing the game like people in the '80s, you know. But like, he gave all those dudes that you just named thirty. Right. Right. Exactly. Easily. Yeah, yeah. And he got more rings than all of them. In fact, he has rings when they don't. True. Yeah. 
So I guess I, I can well, see oh, no. uh, I'm know, not mad Garnett at it. Garnett got a ring. Let me stop. I'm not mad at it. I, I, th- I think it correlates. I'm just, I'm just uh, saying nay just to say nay. All right. What <laughs> well, else, Phil? This is the thing. Um, it kind of goes back to our last conversation Chill, where man. all J. Cole, what he's known for is being a good rapper and making good albums. And people are upset at it. We don't know about much. I know he's married, but we don't know that much about his personal life. We don't I actually know- like that. We don't know what he drives. We don't, you know, we don't see him on red carpets, you know, or, or you know, just doing goofy stuff to get on TMZ. True. We just know him for being a good rapper. And the yeah, thing dude. is, in the social media age and the streaming era, that's not good enough for people. And mm-hmm. so, like, there are some people who be like, oh, he's boring. He's boring because he only gives you, he only gives of himself artistically. Mm-hmm. He doesn't show up to do goofy stuff to uh, entertain you so you could talk about it on the Shade Room or Media Takeout or on the Wendy Williams show. Yep. All he does is give you good rap music and it's good 30. performances. 30 so because people 30 and 10. people will talk about, oh, he's boring. Well, I'm sorry, but I just saw an arena full of people that showed up to see boring. You yeah. know why? Because they actually wanted to just see some good rap music. They didn't need uh you you know you to, to talk about, oh, what is he, he he didn't need to show up to the Met Gala in a thirty thousand dollar pair of jeans. You know what's crazy too what you're saying? You know, I've we seen just people, the opposite of what we're talking about with Lil Nas X. Yeah, I've seen people denounce Zach J. Out. Cole for how he dresses uh, because he doesn't wear gaudy jewelry and, yeah. and flashy clothes, saying that uh, he, he's not being true to himself. How is he not being true to himself? Oh, yeah. Like, it's almost like cause we once know, you're making a rap, you're supposed to be he's actually flashy. being true to himself yeah. by just rocking what he rocking. He doesn't have to buy a bunch of depreciating assets to impress him you True. he impresses you with the fact that he is a good rapper he said and makes good albums that is the point of all of this he said like he he openly has said on multiple occasions i don't show my kids i don't show my girlfriend i'm not I didn't even know he had kids I, that's, that's, that's what i'm saying married. Married. but that's what i'm saying this whole and you know what he, i don't care. i don't care that's what i'm saying the, I thing don't is, care. the only reason i know he's married is because he sat down and had a, a conversation with ryan Frigler. And at, and he and he said accidentally about you know you being a husband now and he's like oh man come why on. you say that like he, he that was not that's that's the thing a lot of artists get right to me yeah. is that they don't give you everything mm-hmm. yeah they give you I am here to entertain you with my art yeah not my real life it's kind of like a this is kind of left field but kind of the same thing to what you're saying. So Shaquille O'Neal wants he doesn't he wants to denounce his celebrityism yes, right, yeah. or whatever. Yep. In his situation is a little too late for that. Yeah, it is. It's it's almost like he wish he had a, taken a path of like a J. Cole or yeah. Tim Duncan, so to speak. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's talked about Tim Duncan, but um people don't I, I don't think I would want to give all myself to everybody if I were in that position either. Yeah. Because there's certain aspects of my life that I want to cherished with just me my close friends and family yeah Yeah. i don't want everybody walking up on me in the street trying to have a conversation about you know i'm saying what happened with uh me and such and such at any given moment and and even even just to keep it real and to have like people like us talk about it true you know like the only thing we can talk about j cole is basketball and hooping and hooping and and he make dope music and he's got good features and you know like he's he's good at what he does makes good beats i don't know like i've seen the i've seen the argument a lot of times about he's boring even in the comments you know i've seen i see it right now but it's like nicole behave j cole man I, 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 you ain't got call look i'm calling out (laughs) you know you can think that his music's boring that's cool you know um I, I understand where people are coming from from that sentiment, but at the yeah. same time, he is somebody who is in complete control of his art. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He produces his own stuff. He is the head person at Dreamville, which houses a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, a whole bunch of great artists. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. He chooses the features that he wants to be on and he bodies every single one of them. Tupac is his favorite artist. You know? He is, say that. He's he's not apologetic about who he is. He's exactly who he is. And even if he's born and somebody thinks that he's born, he's okay with it. Mm-hmm. Um I, I think he's doing it the right way for a celebrity in 2021 that just wants to do great art. 
Yeah. And it, wants to also be able to have people hear it. Like J. Cole is a perfect model for that. He does him exactly how he needs to. He keeps the rest of the world as much of distance as possible. Mm-hmm. And he's just he's just him. If you think about it, um, I think it was one one of us one of, one of us talked about um, you know, top three, quote unquote. Drake, Kendrick, you always hear that. J. Cole. If you think about Drake versus the other two. If you follow Kendrick Lamar on Instagram, what do you got? Like maybe no, Kendrick two posts? Kendrick and Drake are similar. Or Kendrick and Cole are similar. That's what, I'm, that's what They're I'm saying. Similar. They're very similar in terms of how they move mm-hmm. off the court, quote unquote. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It, with Kendrick, I don't know what, what his crib looked like. If he got kids with his girlfriend. Like, I don't know any of that. Because he doesn't push it out there like that. Drake, on the other hand... You know, he, his crib is everywhere. Low. and You know, he's rubbing on Fat Joe. It's, it's a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> look, I heard someone, Cali getting hype. someone say this is like, look, <laughs> you know why some people don't run to the light? Because they know they are the light. You know mm. what I'm saying? You don't have to. When you know what you're doing is enough to draw people to you, you don't have to always jump in front of the flashes. You don't always like, it's kind of like. Because I do it's another power pellet moment. Yeah, I see plus, you. I see. You. I do. I do the social media for behavior. for a club here. I'll say at the Casbah. Why not? Yeah. And you know there are people who like when they see that I'm I'm recording, they like try to jump up and wave their hands and do whatever. I'm like, Red that's Oaks. not necessary. You know, who do you think is really going to see this? Do you think someone's going to see this and be like, hey, I'm going to put him in a movie? This is to promote the club that I manage. <laughs> you know. Mm. So it's just it's just. It's just some people's mentality. You know, if you are one of those people that always jumps in front of the light, then you then you then you don't understand J. Cole. You know, if you're one of those people who knows you are the light and people are already drawn to you, yeah, then you understand J. Cole just to maybe just a little bit better. Not all the he's, way because he's, he's a lot of he's, he's 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 like I said, his music doesn't play on the radio. Yeah. Um you know, it plays a little seen. bit yeah, in the club. Yeah, you know, we got we we got some joints that we, we that we can move to in the club, but you see, even with that, his uh, he, he's got a, he can pack out a, he can pack out a stadium. Yeah, and there's somebody that has a song that plays 15 times a day on the radio. Can't pack out a stadium. That can't can barely get a club date. I'm with you. I'm with you. I think that's no, a good place. I think I think J Cole is doing is um. He does have stuff on the radio, I mean, like the song with him and Twenty One Savage, yeah. and uh, what's the name? That's that's on the radio it's, a lot. Uh, but just think and about he has it. he at least has one of those off of every album, yeah, one or two. But as far as image wise and him being laid back, I mean, I mean, what do you we want, think about what do you artists? Want to do? Yeah, if, people are are worried about the wrong things nowadays. Like uh, back in the day, uh, Bob Marley could could show up. Uh, smelling like the stickiest of the ickiest. I mean, everybody does that. And he could be dressed like he's chilling and yeah. nobody's going to say anything about it because that was his vibe. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what you're looking to see. Um, people are so hung up on uh, appearance and how you think somebody is supposed to look because you're chasing that and you're not putting, you're not putting your priorities in the right place. You know, because you're thinking if I had that much money, yeah, I'd, I'd have a red this. leather suit and a bunch of chains on. Like, oh, why would I, this and not I have a, and, I, Murphy, and everywhere <laughs> I'd show up, I'd have a phantom and uh, and three or four light skinned chicks with me. That's what I would do. Listen, well, I don't know why. Why is he? Why would he even be married and have a family? Hey. And he could just be out here living his life. Just because your funds. you're the just because that's what you would do. Yeah, you know, don't put that on him. And you might have you might have a change of heart once you get in that position. Exactly. If you've enjoyed this segment of the New Old Heads podcast, make sure you join our live show every Tuesday from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash newoldheads. You can also catch playback of all of our shows on any podcast app and youtube.com slash newoldheadsnetwork. And go to newoldheads.com slash community to join our Discord.